Hey, uh, what's going on there folks? Good afternoon, Earthmaster here jumping in real quick uh, just with a little update video here watching some activity down in Southern California just off the southern branch here of the San Andreas Vault. Uh, we have been seeing some swarming out here in the past week and uh, just got a lot of earthquake activity all at once here in the last few minutes. Uh, so kind of watching this area. Again, it's just off of the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault, literally within a mile or so um, on the Pacific or North American side of the plate boundary here outside of the uh, Indio area, it looks like. Uh, either way, that's uh, not a good sign because normally there's quite a bit of stress up here. There's, I mean, there, there has been stress up here for uh, 300 and something years. This is the area, the plate boundary of the San Andreas Fault that uh, is going to produce a big one one day. I don't really see too much activity specifically right up against it and on this side of the plate boundary. A lot of times we'll see some swarming down here in the south or up north or on these uh, secondary fault systems here on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. But uh, uh, things kind of kicking up right around the sleeping giant. So just a heads up. Also still seeing some activity over here across the uh, Ventura area. Although most of this activity looks like it has died down the last one about uh, 10 o'clock this morning. Uh, but still just keep an eye on the earthquake uh, activity there in SoCal. Keeping the earthquake watch up for now. Still seeing some activity off, or one activity off the coast of Oregon. 4.5 earthquake. Uh, that came in, uh, oh, a couple hours or so ago. Not really seeing anything major going on out here for now across the Cascadia. Of course, that's another area that's, uh, I've been building up some strain for uh, about 323 years. since the last nine-pointer. Things kicking up slightly here across the West Coast. Also noticing an increase in activity here just off the coast of Japan. A 5.8 earthquake coming in uh, within the last couple hours. Also some activity in our quiet zone down here, the Vanuatu area, and also outside of Papua New Guinea. So looks like things are just starting to get going here as far as the general plate movement goes. Also, look at this, 4.6 up here. Uh, let's see where that's at. Goodness, outside of the Democratic Republic of the Congo here. This is a rift zone across this area. Uh, 4.6, 10 kilometers deep. Historical data shows that uh, rift area out there. Virgin boundary, so to speak. Uh, separation of the, uh, in this case, the continent here. So that will continue to uh, do its thing. And eventually uh, be separated out here. No telling how long that's going to take for this uh, land to uh, separate from the main continent out here, but uh, it's going to be a little while. All right, uh, so anyway, just wanted to jump in here, folks. I do have a couple of monitoring stations out here. Hot Caves, that's Hawaii. Uh, the closest station there in Southern California is going to be this Barrett station up here, top of the chart. Uh, so just, just a heads up, kind of watching this out here. Now, it's not a major swarm, but it is definitely some activity kicking up here. Uh, in the last few minutes. I mean, what do we got? Five earthquakes here in, the, in just the last couple minutes. Last half, well, last hour. There's still quite a bit to be popping up here right next to the uh, the sleeping giant. We'll be back a little bit later on this evening with a complete update. In the meantime, stay safe out there. We'll catch you guys soon.